Hello everyone, Ted Deal, Star Wars Nerd here. I hope you're doing well, and I want to thank you for joining me today, because we're going to get to the third chapter in the Jedi Council Acts of War series. All right, and this is edited and uh, animated and everything by Autotect and his crew, written by Dark Horse Comics for Star Wars and Lucasfilm back in the day. I can't remember exactly what year it was, but I'll have all that information down below if you so desire. But sometimes when I'm doing these videos, I forget what's going on, but from one day to the next, from when I watch them. And I just wanted to do a quick recap on these because not only is Autotech doing a great job animating these and giving it voice and sound and music and everything, but also the writers that were at Dark Horse at the time came up with pretty good stories. So I just kind of want to keep the story in mind as well. And the artists that drew it, the artists are great that are working on it. Just take a moment to look at the artwork that's in these books as well. Not only just listen to everything, but just try to take it all in. It takes me sometimes a few watches to get it all in. I'll go back and I'll rewatch it. I can also go to Wikipedia and read a breakdown of what happens in these comics if you'd like. And that helps refresh my memory sometimes. But I got this up here. I was just going to read through it again so we'd all know where we are going into this third chapter. So the first one, I just kind of wrote down some notes here. Okay, the Yinkori invade and take over a mining planet. The Jedi then go to investigate and learn of the Yinkori invasion. Uh, there were some Jedi that were killed on a quarry and sent back to Coruscant, and that's kind of what spurred them to the Jedi to go check out a little bit more. They found out that Encori are immune to force suggestion, and so they can't, you know, use any kind of force manipulation on them. And the Encori are divided into two castes, the warrior and a ruling caste, and they use Kartosis shields, which if you're using a lightsaber against it when the lightsaber touches the cortosis shield the lightsaber shuts off you can turn it back on it doesn't damage the lightsaber but it does turn it off so you gotta worry about you know that going off in the middle of combat and then having to go turn it back on all right so then it's revealed that darth sidious is the one behind the invasion he wants the jedi and cory to fight each other in the hopes that the jedi will wipe out the Encori, thus eliminating a potential rival because Darth Sidious doesn't like the Inquiry because they have a little bit of immunity to the Force. He wants the Jedi to just, you know, take them out of the equation. One less problem he has to deal with, you know. So 12 Jedi were sent in three different groups of four, you know, Jedi each to visit the three different Inquiry planets. Um, and they're looking for the Inquiry Command Center. Yoda admitted that he was troubled seeing the Inquiry Uprising was the first threat to peace in many years. He felt the Jedi were leave, that were leaving were going into danger, and anybody that stayed behind was also in danger. And of course, they were or, uh, they were in danger because as soon as the ship appeared in Encore's uh, space, they were attacked. There were reports that Mace's ship was shot down, and two other ships were managed managed to get away through different tactics and get to their different planets. There were three different moons or planetoids are in this system they needed to go check out so um uh it says here that it was later shown that mace and his crew did survive they did a little mini hyperspace jump from one side of the planet to the other and it just kind of made it look like that they had been destroyed and nobody knew what had happened but really they were on the other side of the planet and they were able to land on the one that they had been assigned to and then it showed at the very end of chapter one or book one that another force of Yankori showed up on Coruscant to attack the Jedi Temple. Attack the Jedi Temple, yes. Okay, so then at the beginning of book two, which was the last video I did, says here, I wrote down in my notes, that it starts with Darth Maul on the balcony watching the Yankori start their attack on the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Um, Jedi are fighting them, and, you know, they, when they encounter them, they have their lightsabers, and they're hitting the shields, and their lightsabers are going off. This one Jedi is in a fight with this, um, Yinkori, and, like, lizard people, and her lightsaber gets turned off and knocked out of her hand, and so the Yinkori picks her up and squeezing her and strangling her, and she summons her lightsaber back and was able to reignite it just in time to kill that guy as supposedly she's killed. I didn't know that she was killed at the time. I just read it in the Wikipedia. It says that she died. 
So then, um, back at the temple, Mini and Corey are killed when they enter a room filled with Jedi. They were going down this bedchamber they thought was something else, but then turned out to be Yoda and a bunch of other Jedi and wiped them all out. Back on another of the Inquiry moons, four of the Jedi, one team that was able to land on the moon, Yathith, they were searching for the command center only to find out that it's on a different moon. They were able to track down somebody who finally told them, no, it's not here, it's somewhere else, which is where the other surviving team was headed, which is Yibakoror. Yibakoror. Yeah. And it's that team that was sent there, they kind of crash landed on some kind of air platform, and that just happened to be where the high count command is. And so they were battling there. A big fight was happening. Back on Coruscant, uh, the battle at the Jedi Temple is almost over. Yoda is interrogating a Yankari warrior, trying to find out where the command center is, but the warrior doesn't know anything. But at that time, another Jedi comes up and informs him that they found out that it's on Yibakoror and also that they learned that Mace Windu had survived and his team is on his planet, Yankori, and trying to find out, get everybody ready to go to Yankoror and take it all out. So that, le and then it flashes back to the team that's on Yibakoror that had crash landed on that platform, getting surrounded by a team of uh, Yankori, <laughs> and getting ready to fight for their life, basically. So that's where book two leaves off. So that is where book three begins. So after much rambling of seven minutes, wow. All right, let's just get to it. I got it set up over here. This is chapter three of Jedi Council, Acts of War, Dark Horse Comics and Lucasfilm, animated by Autotech and his crew. Let's get to it. It is awesome. Okay, it's set here. So here we go. All right. Yinkor, the home world of the Yinkori. That's where Mace Windu is. And Qui Gon. And Kenobi. No sign of them. They must have gone into that other canyon. Hmm. You were correct, Master Windu. Their army is gathering. The sentries almost caught us. Are you all right? That's a yes. good Liam Neeson. The Yenturi are overconfident in their own abilities, which makes them easy to deceive. But the reports are true. They cannot be swayed by mind control. And one more thing. They found where we hid the ship. <laughs> no matter. Ships can be replaced. Tell us what you saw. Any sign of a central command post? Not like what we're looking for. It's more like a staging area for an invasion. They are set up in the desert, outside the city walls. Describe the layout. Master Galia and the others should be here soon. Then it will be time to act. We can't wait for Auntie Galia and the others. Kekrook, follow me. Yes, Master. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Padawan. <laughs> I guess you don't need my assistance after all, Pokshu. <laughs> no. We shall all need assistance soon. We can't fight an army in my car. We won't have to. Look! No sooner nice. is deliverance asked for than it arrives. I knew we could count on Adi. Yes, but they can't learn to pick us up. Then we'll have to go to them. Follow me. Lilith, Kruk, this way. Come on, Kekruk. I believe Master Giet is going to show us another trick. Right behind you, master. <laughs> I can't get closer without fouling us on the balloon tethers, Addy. Forget about landing. Take us up. Climb. Bullets 
Steady, Tui. Steady it is. Good. Tie it to the balloon coupling. Hang on, Thie. When Kakrook lets go of the cable, the balloon will shoot up. How's it going back there? Everyone's aboard except for Master Giet. We're having some difficulty. Pull! Watch the rope! Hang on, my god! Uh, I see the inventory of the route. The question now is do I hang on and play down the target for them? Or do I ignore close advice to take my chances with gravity? Yep, well, there you go. Splendid <laughs> flying, sweet joy. Master Yoda, Master Yaddle, we've received word from the Task Force to Yinchori system. Good news. All three teams will rendezvous on Yinchor. Two ships have been lost, but no one has been injured. Perceived it, I did. But too early it is for rejoicing. Still the Yinchori Command Center to find there is. And something... shrouded. Obscure. I have not your depth of sight into the Force, Master Yoda, but sense something do I as well. Concerned I am that the Senate is still debating the Yinchori problem. There was one more part to the message, Masters. Master Gali reports that they've taken a prisoner, a Devaronian. He was directing an ambush against Master Galia's team on Yathif. Could the Devaronians be behind the Yinchori unrest? Hmm. The Jedi took her prisoner. Eh, a prisoner? I had not heard. One of your men. <laughs> or, yes, uh, an, an underling of no consequence. A relation of yours? No, uh, I mean, yes, yes, a cousin twice removed. Give him no thought, master. You know what will happen if he reveals our plans to the Jedi. Yes, Master. Vilmar will die quickly. <laughs> but no worries. Yeah. Can not reveal plans. Cannot reveal what he does not know, yes? See that he does not. Yes, Master. Uh-huh. Why is the interior of the ship all wet? <sighs> it's a long story. <laughs> Ask Master Choi about our landing on your thief. Never mind. Who's our guest? We picked him up on your thief. He was commanding a squad of Yunchori warriors. I'm sure he knows more than he's revealed. But we've been so busy rescuing you, there hasn't been time for a full interrogation. Nor will there be time now. We're nearing our rendezvous point. The situation does not look good. Ten minutes ago. And Troy discovered the hiding place of Master Windu's team. It's only a matter of time before they're overrun. Master Galia, Zin and Master Choi will stay with the ship and provide aid or getaway as needed. The rest of you will come with me. You will be outnumbered many times over. Do what is necessary to rescue Master Windu and the others, but do not needlessly endanger your own lives. May the force be with you. <laughs> May just jump out and start hacking and slashing. Uh huh. Come together. Form a wedge. Master Koth and the others have diverted the attack from us, but they'll need rescuing themselves if we don't act. Master Ten, stop that tank. Qui-Gon, only one. Follow me. <laughs> Link up with the others. Stand by to fight. Ooh. 
That's cool. <laughs> Greetings, Master Karp. What news do you bring? I'll tell you all that I know, Master Winter. But perhaps it would be best to wait until we reach the safety of the ship. Uh -oh. Then let's end this and get to the ship as quickly as possible. Catch look! Look out! Got to get her back to the ship. Get to the ship, Master Windu. Master Kuhn and I will cover the retreat. Yes, go. The mission is more important than our lives. Obi Wan and I will stay as well. Go, Master. Get Master Two Seas to safety. The Inchuri are regrouping for another assault. Go get him, Qui Gon. Remember, this is a retreat, not a last stand. Join us as soon as you can. I don't want any further casualties. Next issue, the conclusion. Da 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 da. Well, very cool. All right. Well, there we go. Part three of Jedi Council: Acts of War. Really enjoyed that. Looking forward to the next one. That should be coming up here very soon. Well, I guess it'll be the next Sunday. All right. So I hope you come back and join me. Then I'm not going to ramble on again. There was enough at the beginning of this video. You all know what it is. You all know who did it and what all happened. Autotect is awesome. Thank you, sir, for doing all that you do. And thank your crew for me. And I just hope we can get the word out about and get a little bit more attention to you and the things you do, because I would love to see what else you might go on to. So anyway, thanks, everybody, for joining me. I am Ted, the old Star Wars nerd. Uh, please leave a comment below. Click that like button. Click the subscribe button. Click that bell for notifications. And until next time, you take care, all right? Thanks. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in, I really appreciate it. If you enjoy my videos, please click that like button, leave a comment below, and make sure you're subscribed so you can get notifications of all my future content. All of you are so great, and I want to thank each and every one of you for your support. Thanks for stopping in, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.